continuing with periodic table we will learn about effective nuclear charge and how it affects the atomic radius and the ionic radius so we will learn something about effective nuclear charge we can represent the nucleus in the form of a circle and the electrons in the orbit around it as shown if the electron resides in orbit number 1 it is closer to the nucleus and the positively charged nucleus will have larger attraction uh, towards this electron or in other uh, or if the electron resides in orbit number 2 it will experience a lesser force and similarly electron in orbit number 3 will experience even lesser force or in other words i can say that farther farther the uh, electron less uh, will be the effective nuclear charge we can also say that the inner electrons uh, shields the valence electrons if the valence electron is in um, orbit number 3 the electrons in orbit 1 and 2 shields it from the nucleus and hence it experiences lesser effective nuclear charge and uh, you can see that this helps in the removal of the electron easier we will see about it little later now consider the elements uh, lithium sodium potassium they belong to the same group or the element fluorine chlorine bromine they also belong to the same group and uh, from the electronic configuration written over there it's very clear that uh, the porous electron of potassium is much farther than the nucleus as compared to the tuous electron of lithium hence Uh, potassium can lose its electron more easily the same thing applies with fluorine chlorine bro and bromine the 4p electron of bromine being farther than the, as compared to the 2p electron of fluorine can be removed easily or i can say that because uh, the effective nuclear charge decreases in a group or the force with which the nucleus holds the electron decreases as you go down in a group same thing let's consider what happens in a period the element lithium and fluorine they belongs to the same group and if you have seen that in the electronic configuration lithium is 1s2 2s1 and fluorine is 1s2 2s2 2p5 there is no increase in the uh, orbit level or the principal quantum number whatever electrons by add for fluorine goes into the same level 2 and hence what happens is the effective nuclear charge is increasing but the level doesn't change and hence the effective nuclear charge will increase in a period so just remember these thing effective nuclear charge decreases in a group and it increases in a period using this we will be predicting other trends in the periodic table now let's learn the trend in atomic radius we will represent our uh, atom as shown there with the nucleus in a circle with the electron around it and uh, atomic radius increases in a group you could see that from the arrow shown as you go from uh, top to bottom in a group the number of level increases and hence the atomic radius also increases however in case of a period you see that the electron goes into the same level and the effective nuclear charge increases in a period and because the uh, nucleus here holds the electron more tightly and pulls towards it the atomic radius decreases in a period for when i go to from lithium to fluorine the electron goes into the same two uh, level and therefore fluorine will be smaller than lithium or i can say that number of protons increases from 3 to 9 as you go from lithium to fluorine however the value of n remains the same hence the electron experience a greater pull towards the nucleus and the size decreases now let's learn about the ionic radius ionic radius is the one when the element loses or gains an electron consider lithium lithium when it loses an electron becomes lithium plus and the electronic configuration changes from 1s2 2s1 to just 1s2 so looking at this it's very obvious that one whole level is gone and the size of lithium plus is smaller 
so the measurement is also given there and we can say that size of a cation decreases so a cation is always smaller than the neutral atom in case of an anion consider fluorine when it uh, gains an electron the electronic configuration becomes 1s2 2s2 2p6 so the measurements given over there is f has a, a size of uh, 0.072 nanometers however the f minus the size is 0.136 nanometer the size is increased or the size of the anion increases considerably why this is so in case of uh, uh, anion the increase in electron from an anion decreases the force with which the protons pull the electrons because the number of protons remains the same and therefore the size of the anion increases so remember that size of the cation decreases and size of the anion will always increase now let us just sum up whatever we have learned you learnt about effective nuclear charge which can be represented using the if the periodic table represents a square the arrow represents the change it decreases in a group and it increases in a period and atomic radius as uh, represented it increases in a group and it decreases in a period and then the size of the cation is uh, smaller than that of the neutral atom and size of the anion is larger than that of the neutral atom so let's do some questions on this identify the larger one on the given uh, questions aluminum and tellurium the larger one is tellurium as aluminum and tellurium belong to the same group and the size increases in a group then the next one is cesium and potassium cesium and potassium also belong to the same group therefore the larger one is cesium and we know that uh, the same uh, reason size increases in a group the next one is strontium and tin strontium and tin look at the periodic table they belong to the same period and we know that size decreases in a, a period and therefore strontium is the larger one it be between sulfur and tellurium again they belong to the same group and hence tellurium is larger than sulfur and the same reason size increases in a group now let's consider the next one the ion cl minus and calcium 2 plus and in this case the chloride minus is larger than calcium 2 plus why let's consider the number of electrons and protons in them cl minus has 18 electrons and has 17 protons calcium 2 plus also has 18 electrons but has 20 protons so the force with which 20 protons attract the 18 electrons will be larger as compared to the force with which 17 protons attract the 18 electrons and hence cl minus will be larger between magnesium 2 plus and magnesium uh, magnesium will be uh, larger because you know that neutral element is larger than the cation and between Br minus and Br, Br minus will be larger because the neutral element is smaller than the anion. Arrange the following in the decreasing order of size. Sulfur, oxygen, selenium, they all belong to the same group therefore the order will be selenium is greater than sulfur is greater than oxygen we know that size increases in a group the next one aluminum phosphorus magnesium they all belong to the same period therefore magnesium is larger than aluminum which is larger than phosphorus because size decreases in a period the next one is lead barium bismuth the order will be barium is greater than lead is greater than bismuth the reason is size decreases in a period because they all belong to the same period the next one chloride sulfide and potassium plus they are ions so we have the order is sulfide s2 minus is greater than cl minus is greater than k plus in order to get into this conclusion you have to find out the number of electrons and protons all uh, three of them has 18 electrons but the number of protons is different potassium with larger number of protons will experience a more effect um, 
an attraction towards the nucleus and has the smaller size. Cl minus with the uh, lesser number of protons experiences a letter, lesser attraction and hence it is um, it is smaller than potassium and sulphide with the least number of protons experiences uh, very less uh, attraction and hence it is larger than the other two. Between uh, krypton and Br minus uh, it is the same reason uh, the number of protons are different and hence bromide is larger than krypton. Neon and xena it is easy they belong to the same group therefore xenon is larger than neon. Arrange the ions in the increasing order of signs, uh, ions increasing order of size. So what you have to consider is the number of electrons and protons only and the force with which the nucleus pulls these uh, electrons. So based on this uh, the answers are given. Potassium will have the larger uh, the least size and uh, in case of the next one uh, strontium will have the larger size and uh, in case of the next one O2 minus and Na plus O2 minus will have a larger size and uh, one thing you can see that the more negative the charge on the ion and if the number of electrons are same and uh, if the charge uh, like P3 minus or S2 minus it will have a larger size so th this is what you have to remember when I am asking about the size if it is a neutral atom size increases in a group decreases in a period and an anion is always larger than the neutral atom and cation is always smaller than the neutral atom. Last thing in this uh, video is something called as isoelectronic. Say these elements they have the same electronic configuration but their different nuclear charges will be different or in other words I can say that they have the same number of electrons but the number of protons will be different. For example consider the ion N3 minus it has 10 electrons but the number of proton is 7. O2 minus, F minus, neon and Na plus all of them have got 10 electrons but the number of proton changes from 8, 9, 10 to 11 and uh, these are called isoelectronics and if somebody asks about the size of these N3 minus will have the largest ionic radii because of the least number of protons and Na plus will have the smallest ionic radius because of the larger number of protons.